I just want to uh, say thank you to all my subscribers and viewers uh, liking the videos. Um, I just want to show y'all my appreciation for your support and this is my way of showing that so I'm going to try to bring as many new videos to you guys as possible. Alright, so first thing we need to do is click the scissor icon up here, top right hand corner. That'll open up Edison. And then you need to click the left disk image and click load sample. Nah. Gotta find my samples. Okay, locate where you have your sample saved. Alright, so once you have your sample loaded, you're going to want to um, sit and listen to it, or if you've already listened to it and you know where to, um, what part of the song you want to sample, you're going to use your mouse, left click on the mouse to select on the waveform what part of the song that you want to sample. <laughs> Alright, so that's the part that I would like to sample. Let me see what I can do with that. I prefer shorter lengths just because it's easier, quicker to chop up. But um, it's all up to you on what you want to do. So the next thing you need to do is uh, we're going to load an instance or a channel of um, SliceX. Now you can uh, use the free slicer as well, but I feel like SliceX gives you a lot more control of what you can do with the sample, whereas uh, free slicer kind of lacks. So in order for us to get the sample out of Edison, we're just going to click this icon right here and drag it. Left click your mouse and drag it over to SliceX. Alright, so at this point we can close Edison. But Edison will still be on your master channel in case you need to pull the sample back up. Alright, so now we need to adjust the markers, which I, I usually go here and right click on this icon and click uh, medium. I'm going to try this one so now you can go in and adjust your marker So I'm going to add a few extra markers at the end, right there. And right there. The reason why that is, is because for this sample loop, I'm uh, placing my markers based on where the kick and the snare are, that's the transients that I'm listening for to use as a guide to chop this sample. Some people use melody or chords, but in, for this sample I'm using the kick and the snare and I'm placing a marker at the kick, the snare, the kick, the snare, all the way till the end when you have this right here.
so that's why I did that just in case somebody was wondering so once you have all your markers placed where they need to be oh shit hold on Um, now you can, hold on, let me check this. Okay. Alright, so, now that you have all your markers placed where you want them, click this icon right here just once. That'll dump that to the piano roll right here. I don't have no drums loaded up. Oh, so far, all I have is this. And this is what it sounds like. So that sounds good, but I messed up the first marker here, so I'm going to redump it. Alright. Alright, so once you have all your individual chops of your loop spread out on the uh, piano roll here, if you already have your MIDI connected, which if you don't, you need to go ahead and plug it up via USB or however you have yours connected, and um, rescan for MIDI devices so that FL Studio can um, link the keys of your MIDI keyboard to the piano roll here so you can do some more hands-on playing and messing around with the samples but right now I'm just on my laptop I don't have no MIDI on me so I'm gonna use the mouse to lay this out I definitely uh, recommend y'all getting a controller though if you don't because it, um, it allows for a lot more creativity so I think that's pretty tight uh, so at this point once you have it all chopped and uh, sequenced the way you want it you know what I'm saying now comes the hard part are you trying to make a straight sample beat or are you trying to make a beat around the sample and make it so it doesn't sound like it's a sample beat that is a whole craft in itself that um, it requires some skill in I'm still trying to master it, um, but mostly I just sample because I enjoy it, it's fun, um, so yeah, that concludes this tutorial, y'all leave me a question in the comments if uh, you need help with anything, make sure to thumbs up and subscribe, and again, I appreciate everybody for checking this video out, thank you. Jada